Welcome back to The Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. Let's spend some time with my good friend, Lance Malone. does a phenomenal job keeping my audience aware of what's happening out there when it comes to uh, better living through uh, better technology for your home. And uh, Lance is with a company called Standard Supply and uh, leaders now for uh, quite a, quite some time, decades now, of uh, helping people, uh, helping businesses provide the best technology to their customers at Standard Supply, SSDHVAC.com. Lance, welcome to the program. Tell us a little bit more about what you guys do and then introduce your guests up there in the Irving, uh, uh, at our Irving sister station. Yeah, Kevin, thanks a lot. It's great to be here again today. Standard Supply is a distributor of heating, air conditioning, refrigeration, and ventilation products. And what we've been doing since 1946 is helping the best contractors in Texas take care of their customers. Today, I'm really excited to have my good friend Stacy Pearson on the air with me. Stacy is the president of Pearson Mechanical and Pearson Air. They have two different companies, and I'll let him talk about that some. Um, you can learn more about them at PearsonMechanical.com or PearsonAir.com. And Kevin, I did want to let you know that uh, Stacy is a fellow ACU Wildcat, so we're we got some purple in the room today. Got a lot of purple going around <laughs> here, fellow Wildcat. Welcome to the program, Stacy. Thank you. Hey, Glad Stacey. to be on. Stacy, can you little, tell us? I don't, you know, I've never had two Wildcats on my sh- show in the entire history. Uh, three three Wildcats all together with me, uh, you know, behind my mic, of course. So that's kind of exciting. Glad to have you on. Tell us about your background in the uh, and Pearson uh, Pearson Air. Well, the Business was started by my father in 1982, and my father had been in the industry for 12 years before that as well. So he has a lot of background, a lot of history, a great name in the industry. And uh, so I came into the business after getting done with school and uh, started a retail side of our business and kind of uh, dabbled in that market for a while. And um, now I've taken over the business about a year and a half ago. And at that point, we're trying to make more of an effort in the retail side to complement our new construction multifamily side of our business. Very good. Lance? Yeah, Kevin, you know, we normally use our segments on the price of business to discuss some things from the HVAC industry, try to inform your listeners about that. But we're going to do something a little bit different today. Um, Stacy also heads up a charitable foundation. It's called the Greg Pearson Foundation. And I wanted to know if Stacy could tell us a little bit about how that got started. I um, would love to. Um, Greg was my older brother. He also was a fellow Wildcat. Um, he had brain cancer and died in 2003 after a 11-year battle with brain cancer. And through that experience, our family was blessed in you know, many, many ways, uh, from people at our um, church supporting us through prayer times, people raising money for us, you know, all the different things that you hear about around today when people have an illness of that type so um, through that experience we decided we didn't want Greg's name to just um, to go away we wanted to do something to honor him to um, bless other people the way that we were blessed and so we started the Greg Pearson Foundation as a way to give back to those that are dealing with some of the same things that we dealt with Mm. It's, it's so devastating you know people think only in terms of the medical costs, which I don't care how good your health insurance is, you're paying for large parts of the medical costs. But there's just this huge opportunity cost for both the patient and everyone who supports that patient of time that would be spent on money-making things and, and just you know family stability and normalcy that's devoured by this disease. And so I think this is fantastic. Yeah, it really is. And I'm, I'm involved some with their foundation that was one of the reasons why I wanted to have Stacy on today. But, Kevin, you may have actually known Greg. I think he was class of 89 at ACU, so yeah. he was there at the same time that you were. Yeah, absolutely. That, uh, that would be right in my time frame. You know, uh, ACU is one of those schools that is perceived as small, but, you know, you, you, all of us know how big it really is. So it's not unusual not, not to catch someone, but then again, I, mean, I knew so many people did, so I wouldn't be surprised. Um, tell us, kind of go into a little bit of detail about uh, what the Pearson Foundation is doing. Sure. Um, we do a couple things. Um, we have two major fundraisers every year. We have the Greg Pearson Invitational, which is a golf tournament, and it's actually coming up on May the 5th, um, and that's always done in the spring. And then we have a 5K, 10K run that we call Jenny's Run for Hope that 
honors Jenny, the life of Jenny Bazillion, who lost her battle um, in 2010, and that's always done in the fall. So in having those events, we take the money that was raised, um, then we take the other donations that are given throughout the year, and we help people financially with car payments, house payments, utility bills, um, things that they can't afford because they have so much medical costs. And then we also help them uh, spiritually and emotionally through um, through our ministry side of things. So um, that's what we're doing, you know, on a constant basis. It's evolved to a point where it's, you know, it's a pretty much a full time job. And, um, you know, we've got, you know, lots of people that we're able to help and make a difference in their lives in a real direct and uh, personal way. I love it. I think it's awesome. Um, you're. Well, how exactly is Standard Supply involved, uh, Lance? Well, I think I'll let Stacy tell you about how Standard Supply is involved. Awesome. Well, we're real honored that um, over the years of of getting this foundation started, you know, there's there's a couple of ways you can go about raising money. One, you can go out and hire people to go out and bring money in and give them a, a percentage of what they raise, which is perfectly fine, and that just hasn't been the model that we've necessarily wanted to choose all the time because we're a completely volunteer organization. Nobody makes a salary. There's no overhead. The only costs we have are tied to our events. So one of the things that I've always worked on is forming relationships with my vendors in my for-profit business to benefit my nonprofit business. Mm -hmm. And so companies like Standard, um, they're one of the first ones to come out and say, hey, we're going to give you a discount um, back to the foundation as a donation for the volume of your purchases with us. And so it's a great situation for me because I can leverage those relationships to help benefit the foundation and there's no overhead involved. Well, you got to love that. And congratulations to Standard Supply, Lance, for uh, being behind something like that. That's fantastic. Well, thank you, Kevin. It's been a great blessing for me personally and us as a company to be involved. I've known Stacy's family since I was in high school. So it's really been great to uh, be able to get involved in their foundation in a big way. I, I really appreciate what they do. In fact, I have a family member who was helped by the foundation a couple of years ago, and he, he has since passed away. But I have seen firsthand uh, how they help people. Well, I think it's fantastic. I'm really grateful to you, Lance, for uh, bringing on this great subject for our show. And uh, I'm going to definitely, uh, if, if you could, uh, Stacy, send uh, Lance a uh, banner ad for your foundation. Uh, we'll be re- rebroadcasting this content on a national news website called usdailyreview.com, and we'd love to make uh, that available to uh, that audience. Uh, that gets about a million hits a month uh, to be aware about the work you're doing. Great. So That's we- awesome. They can also find out more about it at gregpearson.org. That's two G's, G-R-E-G-G, Pearson.org. Uh, you can find all about the foundation there and about the golf tournament that's coming up and, and lots of other information. It's actually three G's, one at the front, two at the end. <laughs> okay, that dude, was always Greg's dude, joke. Dude, Thanks for that's terrible. That, <laughs> you, may, you, must be th- you must be thinking you're talking to Aggies. We're not Aggies. We're Wildcats. <laughs> all right, right, guys. Thanks okay. so much. Thank you, Kevin. Have a great day. You too. When we come back, much more for you. I do want to remind you, best content here shows up over there at usdailyreview.com. While they're liking our Facebook, follow it on Twitter, and you're listening to The Price of Business.